Hey everybody, this is Jason. Well, it finally happened. Bill O'Reilly has come out and just admitted that he's a racist. <laughs> uh, Bill O'Reilly just came out and said that he believes that um, abolishing the Electoral College is taking voting power away from the white precincts and it's the quickest way to for the left to get power. Because the left are a bunch of white people hating, um, you know, anti-white person apparently and that's the only reason the electoral college in their mind in the left of mind exists the electoral college of course this is bill o'reilly's own conspiracy theory um i'm interested it's i find that funny this is not the alternative right by the way i do not consider fox news the alternative right they are mainstream they are the most watched news source in america by far this is bill o'reilly's conspiracy theory and nobody wants to i mean if i said this in a video and I'm not comparing myself to the reach of Bill fucking O'Reilly. God, for, you know, I know my place. But but, but if anyone said this, they, this would be nutter conspiracy theory talk. And this guy has three to five million viewers. Even more. Sometimes it goes up to, it gets higher than that. And his radio show and his books. I mean, in his, in what was in recently in his book, and then he said it in public, that black people the black slaves who built the white house were actually treated and housed and fed well by the united states government <laughs> slaves who built the white house he's nuts he's trying to revise history to take the he has a lot of guilt bill o'reilly is an extremely when white guys do this instead of embracing their guilt they go the other way instead of internalizing they externalize so what Bill O'Reilly is doing is he's showing you his guilt about being a white person and the suppression of minorities. But he doesn't do what I would do in that situation or what a healthy mental person, because you have to be mentally healthy to, to do what I would do or maybe what you would do. We would simply admit it. We would simply say white people have oppressed minorities, starting with the Indians in this country, black people, Muslims are feeling it now the mexican population everybody you know every person that comes in across the border is a mexican now um which it seems like a derogatory term on itself we have this thing where we fight the other you know the vietnamese we reduce them to gooks and slopes we do this with chinese people and japanese people it's done hell we do it with canadians <laughs> canucks i'm kidding but bill o'reilly is showing his guilt he knows better than what he's saying he knows nobody, this isn't, he's not defend. he's not saying, see, this can be perceived two ways. I don't perceive it as, I perceive this as a profoundly mentally unstable human being lashing out because he feels, he knows white people have done injustice and he doesn't want to try to be a warrior, a social justice warrior in any way, shape or form. And I use that term as, not as a pejorative because that's what the alternative right uses it as a pejorative. You don't, you know, it's easy to minimize somebody when they're criticizing you, when you're being a racist and it's easy to minimize somebody's criticism of you being a racist just to call them a social justice warrior or polit being, just being political correctness run amok. So that's always used by the right wing and the alternative right wing as well. But Bill O'Reilly's guilt has overwhelmed him and now he lashes out. You know what? White people aren't so bad. We, we, uh, we're, and you Democrats on the left are trying to take power away from white, white people and taking power away from white people, uh, you know, and it's, and it's, he presents it as a bad thing. He presents diversity as a bad thing. He presents the electoral college as the savior of white power in America when that's never been, unless Bill O'Reilly knows something I know, don't know. That is that was never the purpose or has been even remotely the idea of the Electoral College. That's Bill O'Reilly's conspiracy theory about what the Electoral College represents now. It literally is protecting white power. Think about what Bill O'Reilly is saying. Just break it down. It's so illogical. And I'm amazed that he slipped this past a producer. But it shows how racist Fox is. They don't care. Because inevitably this will not cost Bill O'Reilly anything. What do you, I mean, I may be wrong and I'll make a video retracting it and I'll say I'm wrong, but Bill O'Reilly won't lose his job for this. He won't lose his book deals. He won't lose his radio show. He won't lose any of it. He won't lose a night of sleep over it because he's allowed to say whatever the fuck he wants. He's allowed to be a bully and re revise history. And he's doing it because he feels guilty. He knows. He knows white people have oppressed minority. He knows it. He knows it. And, and he knows that the electoral college is simply to protect states that have lower populations so they don't get overwhelmed by states with higher populations 
That's it. That's why the Electoral College exists. So you don't, so we're not electing it based on population base because it would always be who New York and Los Angeles dictated to be president, the coasts. So the Electoral College was too. So everybody had, you know, a say on who was president, depending on how, what size, how much, how many representatives you have or how many, you know, whatever representatives and senators, et cetera. So, and then you're supposed to vote for the will of the people and that allowed that supposedly. Now, the Electoral College is an antiquated concept and it needs to be rebuilt. And frankly, it's only been used, what, twice in the last hundred years or some shit? And it's been in the last 16 that it's been used and it's been so – because the Electoral College and the popular vote used to always line up. And maybe it's not been a hundred years, but it's been somewhere in that ballpark. And now it's been used twice in the last 16 and it's benefited Republicans both times. And this – I don't want to get off onto a rant here about gerrymandering or – election stealing or hacking of elections you know the physical hacking of machines that bev harris talked about or getting into what greg palast has talked about which is cross check go look up cross check or the fact that seventy five thousand votes weren't weren't counted in michigan or the fact the recounts were stopped in michigan they're the fact that there's there's massive ballot fraud in pennsylvania florida um ohio predominantly in african-american districts or heavily democratic districts the Republicans have become experts at stealing elections, and it's um, it's 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 really not a secret. And Greg, like I said, go look up Greg Palace's work or Bev Harris or many others have talked about this. Rat fucked, great book written. I can't remember the guy who wrote it. Go check it out. I'll leave a link below to an interview that he did. Rat fucked. Go look up that book. So Bill O'Reilly is now expressing his guilt and his and that guilt has turned to rage. And of course, it it could have been turned into something positive where you say white people have had, you know, this the the you could have turned this into a I hate this term, but teaching moment. But Bill O'Reilly isn't that. He's not he's he's an old racist piece of shit who doesn't like who really doesn't have time for especially I think this is something else to remember male minorities okay these guys would fuck any pretty ethnic woman that came along i mean any minority group of a woman that was attractive they'd have sex with i mean the women aren't really what they're talking about here they're talking about males who are black latino asian you know muslim of, of east middle eastern descent arabic whatever that's what they're speaking of i always and i the reason i bring this up is because when I see Donald Trump, who's married to Melania Trump, Donald Trump doesn't hate brown women. He hates brown men. He, and I'm telling you, this is not a conspiracy theory of mine. This is not some nutty. This is true. Go look at racists. They'll have sex with the, black, the blackest motherfucking hot woman that they could find. But the black man is who they're really talking about. They're not talking about the women so much. They're talking about the men. And that's something to look psychologically into as well. But anyway, that's a digression. So when you see Bill O'Reilly talk about how the Electoral College is protecting white power and it needs to be preserved because that's essentially what he's advocating for and he's warning you that the liberals and the left are taking over, going to get rid of the Electoral College and take power away from white people. First of all, it's completely untrue. It's racist and it's really very much telling about what Bill O'Reilly, how much guilt Bill O'Reilly has, how much how dark his soul really is and uh i bet he doesn't pay for this i bet nothing happens to him i bet he doesn't even get a slap on the wrist but if i'm wrong i'll make a video and i'll retract that thank you for listening and uh, let me know what you think